Hello, welcome. This is yet another comparison of the Logitech C920X and the C922X. I have them side by side on top of my monitor. They should be pretty close. And I think I have enough stuff going on in this room to get a, a decent idea of what I'm working with here. So this is the C920. And you'll see an icon every time we're on the C920. And I'm running this recording through OBS 26.1.2. I have this scene set up as just the C920X and the C920X webcam audio. So this is what I sound like. Okay, so when I did the first video, I wasn't monitoring audio, so I wasn't aware that the C922X was picking up some interference. I have a lot of gear in the studio and it's all on. So um, I'm gonna troubleshoot that, but I don't use webcam audio, so this is primarily just video. My first impression of the C920X is that the color is a little bit washed on everything. It looks a little fuzzed out. I am not sure of the best settings to use in OBS, but I have the webcam set to high, and I'm also using Logitech camera setting software, which uh, in there I have, let's see, we can probably play around with some settings before we switch to the 922X. So I have my brightness at 50, color intensity at 50, contrast at 50, and my auto white balance is turned off, and I have that set to 2500K. So I'm going to turn auto white balance on, even though everyone says you shouldn't do that, but let's see what effect that has. That's a little bit warmer. So I'm going to turn auto white balance off and let's see. Yeah, the um, white balance can get pretty insane here. This is juiced to 6,500K. And if we go totally cold, this is 2,000K, which I prefer this look. Um, so let's try color intensity. That's juiced. Um, yeah, that's pretty ugly. And I assume to zero would be black and white. Completely black and white. So... That's at 40% compared to 50%. Brightness is at 50%. We go completely. This is at 0% brightness. And I'm still getting, there's a lot of black, but I can still see myself. I assume this is gonna be completely washed out. That's 100% brightness. Back to 50. Now, yeah, anything above 50 looks too washed out. I'm going to put it to 45. And contrast. Get really photoshoppy. And that's useless. So anything below 50% has this real washed out look so contrast is useless but if I put it to I think it needs to stay right at 50 regardless so those are the settings um, 1080p in OBS but let's switch over to the C922X now so this is the C922X on high settings in OBS. Now let's play around with the settings. Auto white balance is off, but right now we're at 2200K. Turn this on. And again, like so much red right away in the auto white balance, I don't like it. And I bet with color intensity juiced, that's just completely abysmal. 
I think I should just start having my face cam in black and white. Looks kind of cool. So again, this anything over 50 is garbage, but this is 50% and this is 35%. It's a little soft. I think right around 40. Why not 42? I like that number. Um, again, let's test the brightness between the two. Pretty much the same. That seems a lot more washed out than the C920X. But on the C920X, I think I left the brightness in the 40s. This 40% is a little too dark. It's rich looking, but I think 50% is fine. Contrast, let's see if this is ridiculous again. Not as bad as the C920X. That's at 0% here. And that's washed 100%. So again, I think the C922X has a little more leeway with contrast. This is at 60%. And it still looks a little bit grainy, but not as bad. This is 50%. And the threshold for getting that gray wash is just about 40. So this is at 40. Yeah, for this, brightness and contrast, 50% each. I like that color better. And just for reference, if we go full juice to 6500K, this doesn't look as terrible as the C920X. It almost is more like sepia. 4200, 3000 K. 2000 is the lowest that you can go. I tend to set a low color temperature on most of my cameras. So C922X, C920X. And I don't know if it's the way I have it routed. I have the C920X going into a powered USB hub. I'm gonna do one more experiment and try plugging the C920X into a non-powered hub. And it's still powered or not powered. You can see the lag that it has. I may return this camera, to be honest, and get another 922X, because for speaking, it's just, it doesn't cut it. Um, I'm not even streaming right now. We tried to get the color looking okay, white balance. Um, I think it just looks like garbage compared to the C922X, which is this. So you can see here, way faster. This is plugged in to the same non-powered USB hub as the C920X currently. C922X, for me, is well worth the extra $20. I think this C920X is going to go back and I'm going to get another C922X because the difference between this and the C920X slow hello it's just dropping frames all over the place so see ya well, I hope you enjoyed that. I didn't expect to make a decision during this video, but um, I hope this was insightful. I didn't expect to hate the C920X as much as I actually did, but I'm glad I did this test because the C920X is going back and I'm going to get just another C922X. I think uh, it is vastly superior and worth more than... $20 in extra quality. Thanks for watching.